but you don't see many transports on their own. At least I haven't seen that many. There's a few out there, but they're not popular. They're not frequent. I was sent one though, a brand new one by Audio Lab. It's called a 6000 CDT. It's priced at 379, quite reasonable. And I was quite shocked because it's just a transport. That's all it is. When I took it out of the box, I was looking for, you know, the Bluetooth module. I was looking for the headphone amplifier. <clears throat> None of that. No, 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 no. It's just a transport. It's a specialist tool. That intrigued me. So, so it has all, you know, the usual CD controls on the front, a few sockets in the back. That's it. Nothing else. So what I did, I did some immediate sound tests. And the first one I did was, and this is what normally happens, if you haven't got a bigger budget and you want to upgrade your old CD player, most people will do this. They have their old CD player, they'll buy a new DAC and they'll connect the two together. The old DAC will serve as a pseudo transport for the new DAC that they've just bought. They're pride and joy, all shiny and new. And that will improve sound. Now, what I did was grab a reference CD player of mine, award-winning, great sounding as a CD player, integrated CD player. I hooked that by cable to a reference DAC I have. Uh, this one is made by Chord. So I listened to that, took it all to bits, plugged the same DAC into the Audio Lab transport. And the difference in sound was amazing. The Audio Lab and the DAC were far superior, far better precision, improved transparency, way better clarity, a whole lot better. The sound was a couple of rungs at least higher. That excited me. This specialist tool, this Audio Lab tool, was proving its worth straight away. So that got me thinking, what would happen if I just took a basic DAC? Because the one I used, the cord one, was about 500 pounds. I wanted to throttle back a bit. I wanted to test a bit of a shootout, I suppose. So what I did, I flew in, uh, this is a separate CD player. The one I picked, very well known, award-winning, brilliant performer. Everyone loves it. Brought that in. And what I did to, to, to compare that, I picked the cheapest, and in this case, one of the smallest, external DACs I could find by a company called iFi. It's called a DAC One, all of 200 pounds. Brought that in, it's about matchbox size-ish, a bit bigger. And um, connected the DAC one to my audio lab, okay? Now, in the real world, where enormous, normal, normal uh, 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 physics occur, as it were, the award-winning CD player would walk all over the audio lab <clears throat> and the iFi. The Audio Lab 379 connected to the iFi 200. So, you know, you're talking about a CD player which is basically 579. Okay. The other CD player is 1200 pounds ish, give or take. So, this other CD player should blitz the other one, it should beat it to a pulp, right? The Audio Lab and the iFi shouldn't have stood a chance. It was the other way around, folks. It was the other way around. The Audio Lab and the iFi completely battered the award-winning integrated CD player. That was a shock. Again, clarity improved. Tonal realism, far better. Dynamic reach, you know, the, 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 you feel that the highs are higher. The upper mid-range is soaring further. Far superior with the Audio Lab 
and the iFi. Now, the iFi is great. It could be any DAC, though. I just picked one out of the ether, okay? So because I had this Audiolab iFi DAC combo, and the iFi is a mere 200 pounds, I ran back to my cord, my other cord DAC, which is 500 pounds. You pick it, when I say 500 pounds, it, it's actually, when it first came out, it's a cute uh, HD. So uh, it's, it's, it's 500 pounds now. You can pick it up on eBay for about 500. So I replaced the iFi and I connected the cord. And I listened to that in, as a comparison. So I've, I've, I've waved goodbye to my award-winning integrated CD player. That's gone back, okay? Tail between its legs. So now I compared the iFi, the little 200 pound DAC, with my 500 pound cord. Up it went again. The cord was far superior, uh, more mature, uh, percussion was more characterful. Uh, again, clarity, up it went. More focus, um, when you're, you're, you're looking at uh, um, uh, plucking guitar strings, more focus there. So an increase in performance occurred between the, the iFi and the DAC from cord so i thought how far can this go so i disconnected the cord and i brought in a benchmark DAC. we're talking two thousand pounds for this DAC. i connected that to my 379 pounds of transport and up it went again performance just went through the roof clarity improved once more the dynamic range improved the character again improved Balance, overall balance in terms of frequencies, much more uh, um, realistic, tonal realism, uh, pianos had a greater resonance, uh, the whole sound was richer, layered, sounded expensive. But I had to stop somewhere. You know, I could have gone on. In fact, I wanted to go on. In fact, I was excited by this. In fact, it made CD as a format exciting. And I wanted to carry on. But I had to stop somewhere because I wanted to write the review. I'd have been doing it still now if I was, you know, I would have carried on. I'd have been getting DAX left, right and centre. And that's the point. That's the point. The Audio Lab at no point seemed to me like a bottleneck. At no point did I have you know this benchmark DAC it could, this could have happened where I got the benchmark DAC and I compared it with the cord and the improvement was like slight and not really and I would have thought okay well, we've hit a glass ceiling that's as far as the transport's going uh, okay we'll stop there no 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 there was a every time I upgraded the DAC the performance zoomed up again and again and again the bottleneck was never with the transport. The transport allowed the improvements to soar again and again and again. So at no time did I feel that the transport was holding me back. I still don't know how good it is. I have no idea how good this transport is. I have a Facebook group, which I'll put a link below. The, in the, somebody in my Facebook group heard that somebody was using a transport from Audio Lab, this, this 6,000 CDT, and had it hooked up to a 7,000 pounds DAC and was very happy with it. Well, I wish I'd had a go. I wish I was able to try it. I ran out of time. That is exciting. I, I need to do more research on this. But the fact that the improvements carry on and again and again and this is 379 and i've got a 2000 pound DAC here and the improvements are just through the roof that's incredible this uh this transport is is is, is revolutionary i i well what i what i want you to do if you feel this is not enough i want you to Click below on my on the there's a link below that will take you to a formal review I've done. This is a structured review as you might see in the magazine. Goes through all the techie bits, formal 
structured sound tests, reference material, the full thing. If, if this is not enough, this video, if you want more, if you want to, if you feel as though you, you, you want a more structured, more informative review, I've done it. It's done. It's ready for you. Underneath, there's a link. I'll take you to my site. You can read the whole thing, high-res images, the lot, okay? What I'm saying to you now in this vid is this transport, the 6000 CDT, brilliant. If it actually blows away in conjunction with a, with a DAC, all CD players I've heard below a thousand, definitely between two and three. Yeah, okay, I'll go, I'll do that. 3,000 plus, maybe. I don't know. I haven't gone that far. I didn't expect to go that far. I wasn't prepared to go that far because I thought I'd be just, you know, tootling around in the budget area. Well, no, 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 no. This transport can go up there. I would see this transport as being a long, long term part of your CD upgrade chain. Just upgrade the, the DAC when you can. Sound will improve. Anyway, like I say, if you want to know more, click below. But this is a brilliant transport. You need one in your life. You need one in your life. It's that good. That good. Okay. Comment below if you like. You're very welcome. Ask questions if you like. If you've got one, tell me what you've connected your transport to. You know, if you've got one of these uh, 6,000 CDTs. Tell me what you think. If you hate it, I'd love to know. I'd love to know why. If you love it, tell me too. And if you want to read more, like I say, read below. There's a link. Takes you, takes you to my site. Uh, any comments you make, <clears throat> no swearing, please. This is a family channel. And uh, keep it polite. And we'll get on fine. Okay? I'll see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.